about them. Yeah, the studios are trying to act like this is a fancy pants people problem with actors who just don't understand. Now I personally resent this deliberate misrepresentation. Most of us are working class people. That's the kind of actor I am. That's most of the performers here and most of everyone I know in this industry as a whole. To be clear, this is a labor problem with hardworking people who know just fine what it's like to be taken advantage of by greed. We are being cut out of the billions in profits that we generate. We're fighting for a piece of this pie and to be equitably included in the prosperity that we have created. And there's nothing fancy about that. Excuse me, being a SAG actor or even a non-union actor based out of South Jersey, as most of you hardworking folks know, it's challenging. Frequently, we have to travel, uh, as a lot of people said, to uh, New York, Philadelphia, D.C. at our own expense, but we do it. That's right. We do it for the love of this industry, for the love of the arts, the love of the process, and the fact that this industry is all inclusive. We don't weigh out of this, we don't age out of this, we don't look out of this, it's all inclusive. Film uses every type of person. As a casting director, we have suffered along with our fellow actors. The last project we cast, we worked 54 days straight, 18 to 20 hour days. My staff and I took turns taking naps, waiting for call times, waiting for check-ins, making sure no one got lost or missed transpo making sure that production shooting in our area have everything they need to for success in hopes that they take South Jersey and Atlantic City, as well as our company, into serious consideration for their next project. 